So if you want to see why the chip shortage has affected automakers so much, this is part of the ABS unit for a 90s, late 90s Durango. So this is over 20 years old at this point. So this is basically the CPU for the whole ABS unit, but that's not the only semiconductor in here. There's also this is going to have some, this, this, even this. Not everything on here is a semiconductor, but there's a lot of parts in here. And this is an older system where two wheels get two solenoids each, and then a pair of wheels get two solenoids for anti-lock braking purposes. Modern ABS units have twice as many solenoids. That's three per wheel, so there's even more functions per wheel than there are in this unit. So I'm sure there's more semiconductors just on that alone. So think about that. If someone needs semiconductors and they deprioritize this particular chip right here, that means there's going to be a shortage of that chip, which means this board doesn't get made, which means this ABS unit doesn't get made, which means whatever cars use this ABS unit don't get made, and that can be more than one model. Manufacturers aren't going to just let cars roll off the assembly line without an ABS unit. And this is just one component on the vehicle. Not only have other components become more advanced, but we've added more components that weren't even on vehicles to begin with. So that's how one little chip or semiconductor shortages in general can keep cars from rolling off the assembly line by the tens or hundreds of thousands.